Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brewmon's Digi Glitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today showcasing a new deck from the from the newest set of cards and just a wild Digimon deck. Um, it is one of the other like meta decks that you could say, and it's Imperial Dramon for those that don't know. And he's just all about jamming dudes. So we're calling it peanut butter jamming time yeah. because you know, that's what you're doing. Oh yeah. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that there is we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also, in our Patreon, you'll see like deck lists early. You'll see the link to our Discord and all kinds of extras that we have down in our Patreon. So go check it out. With that, guys, let's delve into the jamming time. So, first baby we got is Demi Vimon. He is the level two with your turn inheritable. Once per turn, when this Digimon un becomes unsuspended during your main phase, it gains 1000 DP for the turn. Super easy. That's what you're working on, and it's easy. And we also have the other Demi Vimon. Uh, has the inheritance of when attacking once per turn. If this Digimon has jamming trigger, draw one, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty good because most of the Vmon stuff has jamming. Yes. Uh, next is Elecmon. He is our level three, first level three. He has two drop, three thousand DP. Digivolves for zero, and he's super just a chill dude. That's all. It just gets in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Gomamon is also another chill dude, level three, cost three with a zero of uh, Digivolve. And a three power. Simple as that. And his inheritance is gain a memory. Oh, I yeah. thought I didn't even say it was so small. Sorry, yeah. yep, he gains a memory. Done. Done deletion, yeah. Next is Vimon, our boy. Three drop. Uh, he's a 2000 DP, zero uh, inheritance, or zero Digivolve has got jamming. So if he would be dealt, or if he would be deleted in battle on security, he does not. So that's super good. Yeah. And especially since he's already like the next level three to put on the other one, so you mm -hmm. can immediately draw a card real quick. Super awesome. Uh, another Gomamon is next, level three. He costs two, and Digivolves for zero, and also three. He's just yeah. there to get you get you going up. Mm -hmm. Next is Frigimon. He is a four draw or a four cost. He's got four thousand power. He Digivolves for two, and he's got jamming and no inherited. But it's just jamming. It's forty four. Yeah, that's what you need. The next one the, is a level four Gorilla Mon. Cost six with a Digi Evolution of one and six power. And yeah, a one drop like Digivolve is really, really strong just because it keeps them where you want them. Yep. Uh, next is XVMon. He is a five drop for 4,000 DP. Digivolves for two. When Digivolving, unsuspend one of your level four or lower Digimon. So if you Digivolve onto your dude that you've already, like you swung VMon and hit a card, you can play this on your VMon and untap him because he's level four and swing again. Pretty it's powerful. Kind of, it's kind of gross. Yeah, super gross. All right, the next one is Grizzlymon. He's a level four that costs five with a. Evolution of two, so he's a blocker, and when attacking, you lose two memory if need be. Uh, next up is Peldramon. He is one of the main stays of the deck. He is a seven cost for 7,000 DP, digivolves off of green or blue for three, and then he's got jamming, and he's inherited when attacking once per turn if this Digimon has Imperial Dramon in its name, unsuspended. So <laughs> whenever you get to attack with him, as long as he's in your stack with Imperial Dramon, you untap for free one turn. Pretty right. good. Cool. Dino Beamon is a level five, cost eight, but also has the Divi, the Digi Evolution. I cannot say that sometimes. <laughs> it of three of blue and green. It has piercing, so whenever it attacks a opponent's Digimon and deletes it, it can still hit the security. And then it also has jamming, so it can survive two battles in one. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. Pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, now we get to our Megas. We have the first one, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. He is a the blue one. Um, he's a 13 cost for 12,000 DP. He digivolves for five. Um, when one of your Peldramon or Dino Beamon would digivolve into this card from your hand, reduce the memory of this digivolution by two. So it does three. And it's got jamming. And then when digivolving, unsuspend all of your Digimon with jamming. Huh. So Pretty good. you're just like, cool, swing all my jammers, play this, or digivolve into this for two because I can, and unsuspend all my dudes, swing this guy again, and then that triggers your other stack of the other Peldramon, so you get to do it again. Man, you could like do a one turn kill with yeah, that. Yeah, that's kind of how Imperial Dramon wins is he's just like, my one turn, I'm gonna delete most of your security if I get the chance to. All right, and the, another Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode level six, cost 13, also has a Digi Evolution of five. It, so when one of your, is this the same dude? Or is it's this the same, different? same start, yeah. Oh, same start, okay. Of two has piercing and once per turn, your turn, your Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives unsuspend this poke. Uh, wow. So with piercing, you can just keep hitting all their yeah. 
dudes. So the green one has the same effect that you get a Digivolve for cheaper off a of Peldramon or Dino Beamon. And then if he survives, you kill it. Like if you kill a dude, you can just hit their security too. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Um, we are playing the one Omnimon in case you need to kill some threats because, because he digivolves off of blue. Why not? Uh, he's 15 and 15 DP. And then when digivolving, choose one of your opponent's Digimon. Delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the same name. When attacking, you can return to level 6 to your hand to unsuspend this dude. Which is kind of silly because then you're like, cool, digivolve my... So you swing Omnimon, untap, swing Omnimon, like swing another mode. jammer, digivolve Imperial Dramon, untap my jammer, swing jammer, swing Imperial Dramon. Just untap win. Imperial Dramon, do it again. You just slam it. And that's in. literally five security in one turn. Jesus. All right, the next one is uh, Hammer Spark. <laughs> uh, cost zero, you gain one memory. Pretty awesome. Simple. And of course, security, you gain two memory when it's hit. And that card is the main breaker of people's turns. Yeah. Because if it's in security and you're like at one, you're just like, cool, guess what? It's my turn. Yep, thanks. Hope you didn't want to do things. Uh, next is Kakaida's Breath. It is seven for a. Uh, Spell main, return one of your opponent's Digimon to its owner's hand, trash all the Digivolutions, and on security, activate one of its main effects. So, which is, you just get to do that. Yep. The next one is a trainer, Davis. Uh, he calls four, start your turn. If you have two memory or less, you get three. And then on the play, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one blue and one green Digimon card from among them in your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. And then of course, with security, just play this without its memory cost. Simple yeah. as that. Davis is super strong for the deck because yeah. he goes and gets you either the Dino Beamon, the Imperial Dramon, or any other blue uh, dude. Just all, two, and two cards, pretty yeah. much. You're just like, cool, I play a dude, it's tamer, I get two cards for free. Yep. Sweet. Overall, this deck is super strong, it's super aggro. We have a dude that plays it at our locals and it's really, really a good deck. It just, yeah. it just gets there really quickly. And you're like, cool, I'm gonna make sure my dudes don't die and I get to draw free cards from Jamie. It's very, this deck looks ridiculous. Uh, but the deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out and then just leave us a like down in the comments down below. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.